being a photographer isn't easy and sometimes you get depressed unfortunately i've been in dashu countless times and i know just what it feels like i think they've even made a special shoot for me <laughs> and that's because of the extra countless times i've been there it's not funny at all and i know just how it influences my work negatively but it doesn't just influence my work negatively it does influence it positively a couple of times what's up guys i'm david joseph abcd david macro photographer from nigeria and in this video i'm going to share my experience of how being down or depressed has influenced my photography positively The first one is that it can become a foil for your next project. Now, in as much as being depressed or down is very bad and sad, sometimes hitting rock bottom could just be the unlikely motivation we need to kickstart that next project. And this is very funny because, you know, when you're down, you really don't want to do anything. But sometimes you could just want to do something to get out of that state, you know? I mean, some people see photography as a therapy, and if you are one of those, which I'm one of those, I mean, it's going to be something you want to do to get out of that mood you are in at that moment. And while out there, you'll be very different. It's going to be a different kind of view because you are facing different a different challenge then, and you'll be wanting to work different then. So it kind of like influences the way you shoot, the way you approach things and all of it. For me, I've taken some of my best photographs when I was down and depressed and it made me appreciate those photos even more. It's given those photos an extra story, all those things, you know, it kind of like makes you a different person at that point. This is one photo that I took when I was really down and depressed and it's one reason why I really like the shot so much, aside the fact that the spider is white and it's doing something. <laughs> The caterpillar so it's one of those things that being down depressed all of it can do to you as a photographer or content creator it could just be that foil you need to kickstart a new project Another way I seem to find being down or depressed influences my work is that it increases my sense of appreciation for me and my photos. Now, this is a very funny and unusual thing, and that's because depression could be a two way thing, you know? It's like an on and off switch. Sometimes it could make you really hate your photos, hate yourself, and I mean, if you go through your photos when you are depressed, you could end up deleting half your gallery. <laughs> That's why I don't usually go through my photos when I'm down. I mean, it could just make me be like, ah, did I take this shot? And I'll end up probably maybe never having to post them if I had initially planned to post them. However, on the other hand, it could make you just get to pause a little bit and appreciate the photo in a way you'd not normally appreciate it. I mean, it's going to like bring something you can relate to and kind of just like show you that in the photo. Or maybe the photo is just going to hit a certain kind of spot in you that will really make you appreciate it more. For me, such photos are usually my The Conqueror series and that is Spiders with Prey, like this one. I like those photos so much and I like looking at them when I'm down because it tells me something more and that is that it's not just the visible victories like when they're here with the prayer and having dinner but the struggles and all the pass through to actually get to that point so when down you could actually like your photos more it's a tricky one I mean it's like that point after a breakup which of course i don't have any experience where you're like hmm maybe my ex wasn't the problem maybe i was the problem and you begin to think maybe i'm the one who needs therapy you know 
So it's just like that. The pressure could make you like your photos more. Not just your photos, the photos of others you get to see. And this goes beyond photos. It could make you appreciate your journey as a photographer, all the things you've gone through already, and even yourself for the risk you take, as well as that of others. So yeah, it's also another thing that when you are down, it can happen to you. Another thing I've seen to observe changes in me when I'm depressed, or maybe let's just say get so much in me, is my empathy level. And this means I get to really understand and relate to the struggles of other photographers, especially beginner photographers. Now, when I'm down, I really get to like be in their shoes to see the struggles or maybe just like almost experience it from their own perspective and it reminds me of when i was a beginner photographer and all of it i knew the things i kind of maybe struggled with i needed so it's one thing that usually makes me so makes me feel so good to maybe drop a good comment maybe share their works or even give a constructive criticism where i should and it's something so beautiful because understanding the journey of others creates bond and the macro photography community is actually the best there is and it's very tight-knit so yeah be it in any space being able to empathize with others it's going to really create bond and love understanding all of it it's just going to make everything better and it's one thing i feel really improves in me when i feel depressed another positive influence of depression on photographers content creators all of it is that it takes us out of our comfort zone and comfort zone isn't just a, a place it could be an idea a thing a perspective a style whatever so it's not just maybe your bedroom of course it could all kind of make you want to just stay in your comfort zone more but on the other hand it could push you out of your comfort zone to try other things and this is usually because we seek an escape route or maybe we just crave something different so when we are done we kind of try getting out of our comfort zone for me my comfort zone is macro photography night macro and spiders with prey of course i mean those have become so easy for me to shoot that i'm almost always searching for them especially when i'm down now for 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 this video i i feel i stepped out of my comfort zone to make it i mean i had to change a whole lot of things i even went outside to shoot and i shot by day which i know i'm a very bad photographer by day i did like the difference in vibe and energy even though it wasn't like really my thing but i enjoyed the interaction having to interact with humans which it's a story for another day i had to tell them what i do and all of it at one point i even had another photographer who was waiting for her portrait model to arrive join me and kind of share a couple of things in macro so stepping out of comfort zone could sometimes be the thing that we need to help us get out of depression and it's also one of the ways that depression could influence us positively as photographers and creatives because i mean getting out of comfort zone isn't actually bad you could try a few things learn a few things so yeah it's a positive and by the way if you've subbed to the channel then it could be your comfort zone i don't know if that makes sense but just sub to the channel now my last point for today is that Depression can slow you down and teach you patience as a photographer. Photographers are people that hardly slow down. We always want to go in hard. We are always into the hustle and all of it. And this isn't actually always good because we burn out. So there's this popular saying that is used for life that life is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It applies to photography. I mean, photography is live. So yeah, photography is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's not about how fast we can get to a certain point, but it's about just how much we can endure and last the entire decade and all of it. Just, yeah, just keep going. So um, as photographers, it's always important to slow down, but we hardly do that. We are, we're always going hard all the time. And when depression knocks us down, it, it always makes us, forces us to take that unlikely break, that break we didn't want. Most times this is usually a good thing because it helps us 
we feel the energy get re-energized and that's a good thing because it's going to make us pursue our goal in a better way a stronger way more refilled way all of it you know it also teaches us patience as photographers we we could be impatient at times especially with ourselves so it's going to like slow us down to be kind to ourselves a little bit more and just get to understand more of the journey so during this time that it gives us because sometimes it could put us in our room for a couple of hours if not days it can help us we invest it into our work we evaluate our photographic goals the journey and all of it get to see if we are still going because of why we started get to see if our values still align all of it and i consider those a positive Depression is very negative and it's something I don't wish to happen to any other person. I mean, I know how sad it can be. However, sometimes it's almost inevitable. But when it happens, I don't want you to just look at the negative side of it. I want you to also look at the positive side of it and be able to derive maybe strength or joy from it and know that you'll still get back to your, to your goal, to your journey and you'll still keep it going. If it means having to step out of your comfort zone, it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's not that you're leaving your, your lane, it's just that you are trying something else so that it will motivate you and re-energize you to go back to your actual lane, your journey and, and nail the goal. I would like to hear from you if you Kind of like maybe at one time or the other being depressed and how you did manage it to positively suit you and your photography your goal content creation all of it let me know in the comment section so that's it for this week's video thank you for sticking around let me know if you like this new setup as well and maybe things i could change about it don't forget to like and if you want to support the channel i have a buy me a coffee link in the description you can also send me a dm on instagram i still have the link in the description and um, yeah, you know that closing, that outro that people usually get their thumb on the camera? Yeah, I wish I could do it now, but I can't because my camera is far away from me, like so, so far away from me. And I think it makes me feel more free in this video, you know? And that kind of makes me think of the spiders when I'm usually so close to them, like almost touching them, if it kind of like distracts them. That's it for this video. And yeah, thank you so much.